Hello, not sure if you can see, we were totally inundated a little while ago but they seem to have calmed down a little bit now. We're just looking at the butterflies. It is butterfly season and we have lots and lots of little white butterflies that lay their eggs all over the brassicas. I think we've got one caught one here, just about to do that. Let's see her, where's she gone? Mm. Oh, she's running away from me now. But, yeah, so we have these white butterflies that are called cabbage white butterflies because they lay their eggs on brassicas. Um, almost exclusively brassicas, really. And the only way, the only effective way to keep them off is netting, really got some netting here on this bed. I've got some brassicas under there but I've not been able to net the whole bed because I've got this rather large poppy growing there and some fennel which kind of need more height than the netting gives so I've exposed these brassicas at the end and I've also got a few dotted around like a little cabbage there and a little bit of kale there and then I've got my perennial cabbage there and uh, my wild cabbage over there. Let's see it. Try and zoom in. There we go. With some little butterflies around. Yes. So what I think I might do is I might um, try and just put a little bit of netting over this end but the others if you want to avoid using pesticides, the only only thing to do, really, I'll try and get my shadow out of the way, is check your um, brassicas daily. I don't know if you can see that very well, but we've got some um, little yellow eggs there. So what we do is we just wipe them off, much to the disgust of the butterflies. She's come to watch me just <laughs> just wiping off her babies, which is a bit cruel. But but that's the only thing to do really. So get out there every day and check all of your um, leaves. They are usually in a little cluster, like I just showed you. Um, but you can also get. I oh, see. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, there's some little single eggs on that one and they are the small cabbage white lay little single eggs and they're the green caterpillars the um the other ones are yellow and black i've got a bit of a black fly infestation going on but interestingly enough um the black flies seem to be keeping the butterfly eggs at bay so where i've got black fly i don't seem to have butterfly eggs so I don't know if anybody is aware that black fly deter or eat caterpillar eggs. If you can see that little infestation there in that little cluster. It's not a very good picture. But, um... <coughs> Never mind. Yes, so that's what I'm doing today. Checking my brassicas. Um, and trying to kill butterflies. <laughs> it's us or them, isn't it? So let me know how you're getting on in your garden with the uh, with the pest. There's more black fly. I'm not sure what to do about black fly though. I normally just leave them to it and hope for the best. <coughs> yeah. So there we go. I see, got some more brassicas over there. This um, theory of scatter it around with other plants and they're less likely to find it doesn't seem to be holding true in this garden. <laughs> so we have to go and check. Okay, so I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like these videos, please do subscribe um, to get notified when I've got new videos coming out. Just have a little look around the garden before we go. There we go. Okay, bye for now.